Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another exciting lesson. Today, we are going to actually be using the design process as we create a sweet Tinkercad rocket. So, my friends, let's get cracking. The first step, my friends, is that you're going to have to build your design process, and you need to do this with your partner, and we're going to do it in Google Drawings. When you launch Google Drawings, make sure the first thing you do is share it with your partner and then name it Rocket. And also tag your partner's name in there as well. You're going to have to define the problem, do some research, specify the requirements, brainstorm and evaluate a solution, develop a prototype which will be in Tinkercad, and then we would move to this test solution if we were actually creating ours, see if it works, and then communicate results. We are only going to work through the develop a prototype. We will not do the test. But get those all created using this strategy right here. Simply move to the Shapes tool, find your sweet little rounded box, draw the box, and then double click it and start typing in the pieces. I'm going to put the word problem here for now, and then I'll move to the design brief to show you how you figure out what your problem is. Speaking of the design brief, here it is. You have been contacted by NASA to design a Tinkercad rocket. The rocket must have at least two stages, have a crew compartment that has been hollowed out, and shows seating for at least three astronauts. The rocket must be between 50 and 200 centimeters tall. You may choose the number of fins and engines. Be prepared to explain why you made the choices you did. Begin by completing the design process, which we are doing over here in Google Drawings. When you have your plan in place, you may start with your Tinkercad design. You may work together on the design or you may each create your own concept that you then present to each other. When you are finished, you must present a screenshot of your design with labeled location and the specs above being covered. So right now your job is to figure out what this problem was and put it in this box. When you're done with that, you need to do a little research, draw a box, and put in your research facts down here. Remember, this doesn't have to be beautiful because you're just researching and coming up with your ideas. So you can see here, all I did was copy and paste the rectangle down, and then I added in the words. As I go back and research what needs to be in a rocket, double check the requirements of what we need on our rocket, and then fill in our solution or prototypes as we actually start making them in Tinkercad. And then remember, we're not going to test ours. Once you've got it all designed, you can right click and you can change your background to one of these lighter colors. Remember, we always stay in these two rows. And then also go through and draw your arrows. The simple arrow goes between them. And then if you're trying to show where it loops back around, you can use the awesome elbow connector to show how once you've got your prototype, you go back and double check your solution. I've actually got that backwards, so I'm going to do undo and go back so there it shows that I go back and retry it. Depending how your project goes, you could also have to go all the way back to research. Once again, if you just click out and go back up to it, you're able to create the arrows that show that you go to all these different spots. If you visit YouTube and type HL Space Mod Tech, it will take you to my page. When you get to my channel, make sure you hit the little magnifying glass and type rockets. Make sure you add the S because that takes you to the best lesson I've got. This little amazing rockets in mere minutes is a great place for you to start as you learn how to create your first awesome rocket before turning in your sweet prototype. Take that design, get some sweet skills, make sure you find the all shapes, and then create the awesome one that completes the design brief. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.